thank you for joining me for another episode of Getting Registered at Laterno. In this video, we're covering FERPA, which stands for the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. FERPA is the federal law that protects the privacy of your educational records. If you want to read all about FERPA, you can refer to detailed information in the Student Handbook and the University Catalog. I'm linking to those in the video description below. Uh, for the purposes of this video and the Submit FERPA Form Checklist item, you'll be asked to acknowledge that you have familiarized yourself with the Student Handbook section regarding FERPA and select whether you desire for your academic records to be accessible to your family members, or anyone else for that matter, or just to you. Uh, also, just to know that this is one of those registration checklist items that you'll need to complete every semester that you're a student here at Letourneau. Uh, this item also addresses the right to withhold your educational details from all categories of our university's directory information. Directory information includes things like your name, your birthday and place of birth, your choice of major, uh, the dates you've attended, um, and any other previous institutions that you've attended. Um, Letourneau University keeps all this information, but it's up to you to read through your options regarding FERPA. Before you finish this step, you'll also complete an authorization to release financial records. Here you have the option to include any individual's name along with their relationship to you in order to give them permission to access the financial records related to your enrollment. For instance, how many scholarships you have or how much money you have taken out in loans. Or you can opt for the university to withhold this information from anyone other than yourself. Again, if you want to learn more about FERPA, please review the student handbook or university catalog in detail. And if you have more FERPA questions, you can contact the Office of the Registrar using the information on the screen and in the video description below. So once you've selected the desired checkboxes on that page and you hit submit, you're good to go and move on to the next registration checklist item. We'll see you there.